Hey, welcome to Android Apps Reviews. It's Stacy again. And today we are going to be discussing life reminders. Now, when it comes to some apps, uh, they end up, they set out with the purpose of what they're making the app for, and then they just expand it to something else and expand it to something else. Before long, they've given up on the whole concept they originally started with, and then everything just kind of falls apart, and they just took it too far. That is not the case with this app. This app set out to be a reminder app, and it is that, a reminder app. It's not going to offer you uh, anything else. It's going to offer you an, an opportunity to set some of the best reminders that you could possibly get and some automated reminders that do things for you that uh, will probably possibly um, keep you out of trouble with your loved one in case you accidentally forget a wedding anniversary, a birthday, or something like that. So. Let me jump straight into this thing so you can check this thing out real quick. That's what the icon looks like. Let's go in and have a look. Okay, now when you first open it up, this is the screen you're looking at. There's no reminder set, and they're asking you to set a reminder. So you click on the plus button to set the reminder, and this is what comes up. Now you've got some options here when you're setting these reminders. You've got call, notify, SMS, and mail. Now this is what this does. Call is just a reminder to remind you to make a call. Notify is simply a reminder just to notify you about something you don't want to forget. Now here comes the cool stuff. Now SMS and mail is a little bit different. SMS is not just a reminder. This is a this is actually a scheduler. So you're actually going to schedule an SMS to be sent. You're going to put in the message, who it's going to, and all their information, what time you want it sent. Uh, if you want an alert, letting you know it's about to be sent before it gets sent. Uh, does you, what defaults do you want to use for when it goes out? I mean, you have, <coughs> there's, it's, the settings you have here to set this up to get it going, it's, it's pretty nice as far as, uh, it's an automated SMS system. And the same thing will go, let me get back in this, for the mail. The mail is the same thing. You put in the email, the, the, the information, and all the, everything where it's going, and it goes out and you would set your name and your password as far as to your email and the settings which we'll discuss in a minute. Now, I'll go into these other ones real quick so you have an idea what they look like. The call one, you go into it, you can pick your contacts, pick the reason you should call them. So you go into your contact, you pick your contact, into the reason you want to call them, and everything you know, what time to call, and set yourself a pre-alert, and <clears throat> all that stuff there. And, and a lot of the, and everything with this app is really cool because a lot of the stuff runs through uh, through the voice system on your device, so you're able to put in reminders by voice, which is really really handy. Okay, now the notify one is exactly that. Any description of what you want for the notify, uh, what category and and pre alerts and so on, and you can add pictures and you can do all kinds of really really cool stuff with this reminder app as far as getting reminders set that's going to remind you to keep you out of trouble or things like that. So any dates you get, anything like that you need to be reminded about, there it is. So and the thing would, it's it's not going to be, it's not that you're going to be able to use it like an alarm clock. I mean, you're not going to be able to set a reminder to wake you up to go to work. It's not really set that way. Now there is some settings that I'm going to show you how you can, how this thing the options you have, I should say, of setting it up. So let's go into the miscellaneous. You can set a shortcut on. You can shortcut on the uh, desktop. Um, it's a permanent one. Uh, you can create a call reminder notifier. After the call, you can clear your history. Uh, you can turn on the keyboard pop up. You can change themes. There's a uh, what is there? There's a dark and a light. It's just the typical dark and light themes that all the other ones have. You can do some sortings, days of the week. You can build, you can build categories. Because right now, the only category they have is general. So you can click on it. You can edit the category, and you can change general to anything you want it. So you can say, okay, how about birthdays? So you you might make a category that's nothing but birthdays, and you might add another category that's anniversaries or anything like that. You know. Um, I mean, perhaps you're in college or with or something like that, and you got tuition reimbursement, and it sends you a reminder that you need to submit your grades or at the end of when class is over, so you don't forget and end up having to pay for the school yourself or something like that. So, I mean, these reminders, they're in here. Uh, the, the app, what you can do with it as far as setting reminders, this is the 
probably one of the best uh, reminder apps. Now, this it doesn't set out to be a calendar. It doesn't set out to do anything else. It just sets out to simply remind you of things and do things to keep you out of trouble in case you forget. Um, so here's your notification preferences. You can have the LED, the sound. You can uh, you can always have it sound. You can vibrate. You can do the custom vibration. Uh, there is the uh, the uh, Notification notification sound that does not stop. It just keeps going on until you turn it off, which would be something kind of like an alarm. But I don't think it's. I don't. I do not believe it was that loud. Uh, you said you got some group notifications you can set. Uh, you can you can have a pop up come up. Uh, you can align the pop up to the bottom. Uh, you can set a reminder for any of them that aren't closed. If you don't close the reminders and say hey they're done. And a, a continuous reminder will still go off. You can set some quiet hours in case you don't want to be disturbed. Uh, perhaps you work nights or something, and you don't. You just want to get some sleep. Um, you can you can do some backups. Uh, the, the, you can do a transfer to Dropbox and things like that through this. And then of course here's your text to speech preferences. You can set up your read reminders and things like that. A wait timer, SMS preferences. As far as your delivery of SMSs go and your mail preferences, you put in your username and password. So, and then of course, there's now they have wearable, so you can snooze from the wearable, and, and you can enable you can enable it so you could probably uh, put in reminders from the wearables. So, I mean, that in a nutshell is this thing. I mean, it's it's so simple. You put in a reminder. You set what you want. The reminder to do for you um, and when and where and it's done it's simple so i mean you know there's there's a saying you know it's sometimes things things are better when they're that simple and and that's where i'm at with this one and i think if they would have tried too hard and tried to make it too complicated and, and went too far with it they would have destroyed this app in my opinion it's a really nice app it does a really good job of what it's doing as far as uh, being a reminder app because that's what it is. It's a reminder app. So uh, <clears throat> I invite you to check it out. Uh, install it. Check it out. It's like I said, this is, there's a free version. There's a donate version. Uh, I can actually show you possibly. They will accept some donations. So I mean you can get the donate version for just $2.99. But I mean they'll accept all the donations through the PayPal's. So, uh, the, the option is there. You can get the donate version, and it offers a few more extra uh, options as far as uh, reminders go. And I believe you get another theme, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong about that. Uh, it's been a while since I've got into my uh, my donate version. But uh, okay, well, if this uh, review helps you out, uh, perhaps this is an app you've been looking for, something that can remind you to keep you out of trouble. I mean, that's the reason that I originally got it myself several, several years ago on one of my devices was uh, I didn't want to forget an anniversary or a birthday uh, from a loved one and uh, end up hearing about it. So uh, that's, it, it did its job and it kept me out of trouble and I know it'll work for everybody else too. So uh, yeah, I invite you to check it out. Easy, set it up, run with it. Uh, if, you, if you do install it and do me a favor in the comments below, go ahead and tell me what you think about it. Uh, did it work for you? Did it keep you out of trouble? Was it something you were looking for? Or was, was it not what you were looking for? Just uh, let me know. And uh, do me a favor and like and subscribe and stay mobile.